what's making you anxious today? Philippians 4, 6-7 has a word just for you. In Philippians 4, 6-7, God offers us a powerful antidote of sort to worry. He says, don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. Depression often amplifies our worries and anxieties, making them feel bigger than they are. It makes them feel so big that they become almost insurmountable. But God's promise shows us a way out of the cycle of despair and depression. The passage is encouraging us to turn our worries into prayers. Instead of worrying about it, just start praying. Rather than allowing the anxiety to consume us, We can bring our concerns to God through prayer and praise. And as we do this, God promises to bring a sense of wholeness and peace into our lives. We can go to God. He asks us to come and to give our words to Him. To give our fears, to give our challenges, to give our mistakes, to give the things that make us depressed to Him. And in exchange, He will give us wholeness and peace. Here's my challenge to you. The next time you feel overcome by depression or anxiety, resist the urge to worry. I know it's easier said than done, but it can be done. And when you've resisted that urge to worry, pray. Take your worries and lay them before God. Share your concerns honestly with God. He already knows. He just wants to have a relationship with you. He's there, standing or sitting, ready to help you. Depression doesn't have to define your life. Through prayer, God can replace worry with His peace that surpasses all understanding. That's a promise for today. Thank you for stopping by. I trust that you'll stop by again tomorrow. And do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.